everyone, Miss Nicole here. I'm feeling hungry for some pancakes. I have some pre-made pancake batter that I would love to show you how to prepare and cook today. All right, look at all my ingredients. I have my warm griddle pan, a big mixing bowl, my pancake mix, water, some cooking spray, measuring cup, a whisk, a spatula, and a plate. I think I'm ready to get started. I have already washed my hands, so now I can start measuring out my ingredients and cook. Okay, your recipe might be a little different, but mine says one cup of mix and three quarters cups of water to make our pancakes. So always be sure to read your label, label on your pancake mix so you can make the right recipe. So first I will measure out one cup of mix and pour it into my big bowl. So I have my one cup measuring cup. I'll scoop out the batter and put it into my big bowl. All right, let's see here. Okay, there's my measuring cup. One cup of batter. Awesome, right into the bowl. And the recipe said, three quarter cups of water. So I already have that measured out here. I'll pour that right into my big mixing bowl. Awesome. Okay, the next step is to stir. So use your whisk and stir. You can also use a spoon or a fork. I just grab my whisk and I'm going to mix up my batter. Some other recipes might use eggs or milk. Mine's pretty easy, it's just the batter and water. Awesome, there we go. I'm gonna try to get all the lumps out, but it's looking pretty good. It's easy to just stir it right together. Nice, look at that, nice and smooth. Okay, I think the batter is ready. Awesome. And then into your pan, all you have to do is spray your cooking spray. You could use oil or butter. It just was easier for me to grab the cooking spray. So my pan is on medium heat. Feels nice and warm. I'm going to spray my cooking spray in and then we can get started cooking our pancakes. Okay. There we go. All right. So for this step, you can either use your measuring cup or your bowl, pour it right out of your bowl to pour the items or the batter right onto the griddle top. I'm just gonna pour right from my bowl. Mine has a little spout right here. Let's see how many pancakes I can fit on here. One, two, that'll be a little one. We'll make three. Awesome, that looks good. Okay, all right, so the label on my pancake mix says to watch the pancakes carefully. They'll start to cook on the one side, but we will have to use our spatula to flip them over. So when the pancakes start to bubble on the top, they're ready to be flipped. So let's see if we can get a good picture. They're starting to get a little bubbles, a little bit are on the edge. Wait until the middle bubbles, and then you can use your spatula to flip. Awesome. Some people like to put fruit on top of their pancakes, maybe chocolate chips. That would be good too. Put a little bit of extra stuff onto your pancakes to make them really, really delicious. Awesome. So they're starting to bubble. That means that they're cooking on the bottom side. We'll use our flat spatula to pu push underneath the pancake and flip it over. That's the hardest part. So we're gonna try three separate times. All right, take your spatula, slide it underneath the pancake to pick it up. And then flip, flip it right over so the other side cooks. All right, let's try it again. Hopefully I'll do a good job again like that first one. So take your flat spatula. Uh-oh, there we go, and flip, nice. All right, last one, 
flip. Ooh, looking pretty good. The pancakes will need a few extra minutes to cook on this side, but when they're brown, just like this, when they're brown on the bottom, then they are ready to eat. Awesome, I'm getting pretty hungry. I'll let these cook for a few more minutes and I'm gonna enjoy my pancakes. Thanks for joining me, happy cooking. Bye.